how to turn a picture into an nft for free hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to tell you how you can turn your very own picture into an nft so having said that let's just jump into it now if you don't know what an nft is it's basically a called a non-fungible token now what that basically means is whenever you have a picture or a nft what that will do is it will create a signature onto the blockchain and what that will do is it will indicate that you are the owner of that particular image no one else can be can have that image because you are the owner of and you can see that while you are looking on the blockchain even if someone takes a screenshot it doesn't matter because you are the owner and everyone who can see the blockchain knows that and you can turn pretty much anything into an nft as you can see we have some pictures over here some paintings some other drawings and we can turn any much pretty much anything into an nft now i'm going to show you how you can basically do that so once you're over here all you have to do is now once you're over here on OpenSea, this is one of the biggest platforms available for nft marketplace like basically you can buy sell mint whatever you want onto it on open seas is pretty much the go-to place for that now what you basically do is you come over here onto your wallet section all right now i've already signed in let me just go ahead and log out so that i can show you how i basically do it let me just log out okay once you're over here you just simply have to click on this wallet icon over here let me just go ahead and log out from here as well once you do click on the wallet icon you will have a couple of different options over here you can choose whichever wallet you want but basically uh what that basically means is that you will have to pick a cryptocurrency wallet in which you will have to you know keep all of your funds such as your uh, ethereum or bitcoin or whichever cryptocurrency you're using will be kept in it safe and secure for now i'm going to use metamask because it's one of the popular ones and i feel like it's one of the safest ones and most easy to use so just simply choose metamask and it'll take you over to their website where you will basically have to create an account i've already created an account so the process was pretty simple like over here let me just show you so once you're over here this is how it will look like so what you're basically going to do is you can go ahead and download it over onto your extension and once you do that just simply click over here and you can go ahead and sign in let me just go ahead and log out real quick that i can show you how it basically looks like so i guess i can't log out for now well but you get the general idea like it's pretty simple just sign in create an account and you're basically done once you've done that just come over here and click on create and once you're over here it will send a transaction to your wallet which you have to sign so that it can notify the blockchain that you are creating an nft and once you have done that this is how the website will look like now, over here you will have to upload an image you have to upload your very own image that you created or something like that but sometimes it's good to you know change it up a little bit like make it a little bit more interesting or popping so for that i'm gonna go over onto this website called befunky.com now this is a pretty amazing website where you can edit videos or images or you know add different effects or crop it or stuff like that and the process is very simple so i'm gonna go ahead and create an account over here click on get started i want to create edit a photo right here and once we're over here let me just go ahead and open it right from my computer open this image right here and this is the image that i want to you know change up a little bit so now what we're going to do is we have all our tools over here so we have our editing tool we have our crop we have a rotate exposure vibrant sharpness and all that but we're not going to be doing that and we also have the ai image enhancer so if i choose that it'll basically you know enhance the image on its own using artificial intelligence so let's just see how that looks okay hmm. it looks a little bit good so if i lower it up or lower you know what it looks good i'm gonna keep it like that but for that it costs like you know have to add a little bit more have to buy a subscription for that but we're just gonna choose we're not gonna do that we're gonna come over here onto underneath these options over here in artsy when we're over here we're gonna go with the cartoonizer and once we're over here we can see we have all these different types of you know uh effects that we can apply so i'm gonna choose this one let's see how it looks like wait a couple of seconds so this is how it looks like so we can adjust the uh the strength of it as well so i think this looks pretty nice let's just try another one over here okay this one is also pretty nice but it's a little bit different you know what let's go with this one cartoonizer number two or is it just applying more and more so let me just cancel that real quick let's let's just go with cartoonizer number five i think that would look pretty nice yeah okay so we can adjust the strength of it as well so yeah i think this one looks pretty nice yeah this will do i think this will look good so we'll just go apply it okay so we have to create an account let's go ahead and sign in 
use Google. Okay, so that filter was not for free. That cost me money. So that's why I'm using this one. It looks pretty good. So once you have, you know, edit your image, just simply click on save and save it to your computer as a JPEG. Yes, save it, save it over here. And there you go. Now you have your image. Now what we can do is we can go back and we can upload it onto OpenSeas right here. And there we go. Now what we can do is we can go with we can add a different title over here as well we can add like uh, auto car whatever like that's how it is and then you can upload a you know external website basically you know referring it to your like instagram or your twitter account or your own website where you can basically showcase some of your previous work so that people can know that hey this guy is a serious artist and he's been doing it for quite a while and he's a, a really good one as well so they can see how you do it so they can see how you of your previous work and then you can like add a description to it as well if you want and then you have your collection over here you can add your collection and then you have properties as well so you might have seen like other cryptocurrencies or other creators like add some special or limited edition type of cryptocurrencies like crypto other type of uh nfts which have like special edition type of nfts which have like these different effects it's like a special accessory or a different background that basically makes them different from all of the other nfts from their rest of the collection collection like you can go ahead and add those as well now i'm not uploading a collection so i'm not going to do that and then down below you have your supply which you can change if you have like if, if you are uploading like a collection or that and then you have your ethereum and your blockchain now there are two types of blockchain you have ethereum and then you have polygon both of these have different perks now if you choose ethereum you will have to pay like a transaction fee like two times you have to pay it twice and after that once you've paid it twice you don't have to pay it again it's like a gas fee and you can find the gas fee over here into the etherscan gas tracker it will show you the gas fee over here so right now it's like the highest point is like 80 dollars, and the low point is like 27 dollars. what i would recommend is pay more than like the higher point so as you can see it keeps fluctuating right here so right now it's like eight dollars in 30 seconds of estimated transaction confirmation duration so you have to pay like eight dollars so that in 30 seconds you will have your transaction confirmation what i would recommend is pay higher than that so pay like twenty dollars or thirty dollars more than the GUI so that even if it goes a, a little bit higher you will be the first one to you know in the line to acquire your nft or you know sell it so that's what i would recommend doing and uh, if you choose polygon you don't have to pay it so as you can see over here if i choose polygon it's a fast gas free blockchain so you don't have to pay any gas fees whatsoever however you can upload a collection over it and uh, the market for polygon is a little bit slower and it's fluctuating a little bit from right now so these are some of the pros and cons for choosing your own blockchain so keep that in mind when you are uploading your nft now i don't want to pay any gas fees so i'm going to choose polygon and click on create and once you have done that as you can see you have created your holo car congratulations now what you can do is you can check out all of the other details like your pricing and listing and you will see everything over here now once you have done that just simply click on sell and what that will basically do is it will take you over to this price place where you have to like enter in the price so i'm gonna go with 0 0.005 dollars which is the price is below the collection floor price so we have to like increase it 0 0.009 let's just go with 0 0.1 so there we go so that's the four price so as you can see right now and then you can change the duration of that and then you have the service fee now that you can pay the service fee after you've sold your nft not before so that's a good thing so once you have everything under control like you can see everything checks out just simply click on complete listing and it'll take you to this part of the website where you have to sign a transaction message into your wallet and once you have signed the transaction you are ready to you know start selling your nft so click on sign and wait a couple of seconds so as you can see there you go nft has now been listed and people can now buy this nft people can now buy this nft uh let me just refresh the page i don't know what is happening so there we go okay so yeah there this is how it looks like so you can go ahead and cancel your listing anytime you want but that is basically how it works and you can check out other websites as well so if you don't want to you know post it on open seas another great website that i have for you guys is called rareable now, rareable is also a pretty amazing website for selling nfts or minting nfts or buying nfts it's a great marketplace and the process is exactly the same just go ahead and click on sign in sign in with your metamask wallet 
sign the transaction and then upload your nft and the process is exactly the same so it's really easy it's really fun and you don't have to have other and it's pretty simple as well so if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and now having said that if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye